As long as I live, you will never be again. For this shame and disgrace you brought to me. We are over. Don't. We swore an oath of love to be together forever. The oath you broke. Even the ancestors can see it. The ghosts can see it. The oath is not holding us bond again. Don't. I am innocent. No. I am innocent. No. How else do you want me to tell you this? You choose to believe them and not me. I am your love. You choose to believe outsiders. No, you have to believe me. Ngozi is not an outsider. Ngozi is like a sister to me. She can't lie to me. What will she gain? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. You know what? Forget about me. Forget about me. After that, Anne Prince found a way to get close to me. Prince Kelvin! Prince Kelvin, wait. What's the matter? I heard what happened. And I think you're innocent. I believe your own side of the story. So if you need anybody to talk to, I'm here. She became my consoler and my best friend. That's all I came to tell you all the way from my village. She was the only one who believed me. In my pain, Anne found her way to my heart. Wait! And when I left for London, wait. she promised to wait for me no matter how long it took me to come back. I schooled in London, worked in London, sent her money, yes, sent her money to pay her school fees. She went to the university. I trained Anne from... Hey, baby. Why were you riding a horse now? Are you a horse rider? Okay, okay, look, you'll be fine, okay? But I need you to do something for me. I need you to sign this document. Get out. Kelvin. Get out. Can you relax? I said get out. Relax. Get out. We need to Get out! We need to sign this document first. Get here! Get out! Look! I... No! I'm not leaving out here. No! When you chop small plantain, you chop for you go where? Na balance that yetoga. Try them. Sir, good afternoon. Yes. Yeah, Apple is one more for sir. And how many should I bring? Uh, let me have four. Ah, okay, okay, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, no get change, yo. 
Only 500 I get. Wait, wait. Brinola! How far? Change. Emma? I want 1,000 naira note I get. I don't get change. Sir. So, Sir, so sorry. Old. Maybe maybe next time you buy. I don't have change. Um, oh, wait, wait. Um. Uh, let me dash you 100 naira. Just be buying apple for me. See, I buy fresh apples every day. If you don't see me in this street, you see me in that street. This is our area. This is where I stay. And it's only me that have apple around here. I buy fresh every day. Just be buying for me. Let me take 100 naira. You dash me money? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Nobody has ever dashed me anything. Well, I'll say thank you. Thank You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. I stay here, I'll just be buying the apple for me. Thank you, sir. These apples are delicious. Where did you get them from? I bought them, of course. Right. What? Um, which supermarket did you get it from? Because I want to get some more. It's so good. We can ask the boys to actually get um, some for us. It's only ethical you should reserve apples bought by the buyer. Baby, we can send one of the boys to go get some more. It's so good. I mean, you know what they say, an apple lady keeps the doctors away. So if I eat like two, three, it keeps the dentist, the chiropractor, everyone. They wait for a lifetime. What is it? Why are you not saying anything? Are you upset that I'm eating the apples that you bought? Babe, what is it? Chief Clegg. He oh. called me. Thanked me. Thank you mm -hmm. for signing the MOU with regards to the joint venture of Kosola housing units. Look, I thought we agreed that we would not deal with such a man who is known for building substandard housing units. He is making more money every year. Yes, the houses are not falling. People are still living in it. Why do you care if he uses substandard materials, whether, whether the toilet seat is, is, is going to fall off or the, or the handles? You forged my signature. You forged my signature? Why? Because I'm your wife. Are you going to arrest me? There's nothing wrong if a woman or a wife forges her husband's signature for them to make more money. So why wouldn't you discuss with me first? Huh? Before making this your whimsical initiatives, this your greedy decisions, be reminded, woman, I am the CEO. And I am a director in this company. I pushed you to get majority shares because I made it look like the company was going under, so everybody wanted to bail out and sell their shares. You should be thankful. Yes. And I will not let you toy with what my children will inherit in the future. I made more money for us. You should be happy. Nice apples. How are you spending on that man today? Which man? The one you gave hundred naira to as if a millionaire. Why were you smiling at him? Nothing. Yet whenever I'm around you, you frown your face like a she goat with running stomach. Huh? 
Yeah, but I don't frown my face whenever you're around me. And I don't act like a she goat or any goat at all. You, you know what you always do that make me frown my face? Have I not tried? I've housed you for two months. Yeah, God will bless you. See, I pray for you. I pray for you all the time. So you stop hawking and, and do something else that will make you to be a big man like that man I gave 100 naira today. Like. Zorita, that's an insult. You just insulted me. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. You said I'm not a big man. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. You be doing as if you don't know anything, yet you know everything. Sorry. I see. I know your type. I know you have eyes for big men with money, but I'm watching you. Be very, very careful. You have to be very, very careful because all these things I'm doing, I'm doing so that one day, one day, you be my wife. You feel like I keep doing all this and I'm looking at you. I feel really leave my presence. Leave my presence. Acting like, as if you don't know anything. But you know a lot of things. I, I know you have eyes for, 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 for money and, and big men. But I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Better watch your step, bro. Watch your step, bro. Because one day I'll just push you inside gutter. Try me. The route we used the other day, I bought the apples. Take that route, please. Yes, sir. I need to see that girl again. Which girl, sir? The girl I bought the apples from. My wife did like her apples. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to get the apples again. All right, sir. Yeah, she dashed me money. <laughs> Uh, you know, something in me says I should see her and, you know, ask her why she was so selfless, why she was so kind. I mean, it's not natural for a girl her standard to give me anything. <laughs> Planting! Planting. Hello, Apple Girl. Come. Ah, what is? It? What are you doing? Allow her to come now. Or that wants to buy apples from her. Young man, let her come. I mean, no harm, okay? Come. Ah, not am for yesterday, now. Nah, I'm nah, customer. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Great, fine. super. So, um... How, how many do you want, sir? How much for everything on your tray? Sir? Yes, everything. I want to buy everything. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, from my calculation, everything here would not be worth more than 9,000 naira. So, uh, I... Well, sir, will you be able to finish everything? I'll buy for 20,000 naira. Ah! Yes. Sir! Ah. Right. Sir, God bless it's you. Right. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless everything it's you do. Right. Your family, your it's children. Right. God bless you. God. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless your children. Right. Just keep being good, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep I will. being good. I will. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Ah! So what you do now is that you collect money from men and you blow in your mouth like a cheap goat. My friend, give me that money. See, I'll give you give some money. Get to the house now. Just give me my ten now. What is this now? Yes, me, my friend. Yes, me, my friend. What is this now? It's not my money. It's not my money. Not from anything again. Get my life. It's not my apple that is gone. It has gone. It has gone. 
Sir, I think that boy is beating up that girl. What? What girl? The one you just give money now. Yeah, stop the car. Stop the car. Go after him. Go after him now. What is this man now? What is this man now? What kind of thing is this now? What did I do to a man? I said, on my own market I sold. What is this now? What did I do? What is this now? What did I do now? This is something I've been saving since. Now that God has blessed me, he will not allow me to. What happened? What happened? That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy is too jealous. Bitter every time. You talk now. Dolita and Amigo, they answer your question for you. Stand up. Stand up, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Okay, they can't go. Lolita, they follow him. Now, now she and that guy, they leave. Oh. No one may cause problem for her. You go beat him again. Your name is Lolita. Is what she said true? Yes. Now, your boyfriend or now your husband? No! No! He's just housing me. But now, two they marry? No! He's helping me. Then why did he beat you up and took the money I gave you? He said I'm not smiling at men. He beats me anytime. Anytime there's an opportunity, he'll just beat me. Boss, do you want us to go and chase this boy and catch him wherever he ran to? <laughs> it's okay. Um, you just got paid for the days he put a roof over our head. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Arunola was my friend in Okoko, where I live with my mother. Her auntie's husband is a security man in Lekki. So when her auntie became pregnant, she came down to Lekki to help her auntie sell. One day, she came back to Okoko and told us that people on the island spend more money. That she sells everything she goes out with. So I begged my mom to know if I could come with her to the island and sell more. So we can make more money because we were not doing very well in Okoko, Michael. So you followed Dariola to Lagos Island and he housed you. I remember last said she was going to speak to her auntie to, to know if I could stay with her. And she did. But her auntie's husband said their room was too small to house another girl. So when we went to hug that day, she begged everybody to know who was going to house me, but they all said no. Then Emmanuel said he, he used to live with his brother before his brother traveled to Malaysia for greener pastures. And now he was living alone in a big house. And he agreed to house me. Okay. That's how I started living with him. Before he started all his wahala. So now you're homeless. Maybe I'll go back to Okoko Michael and stay with my mother. Then do what's there. A kind-hearted girl like you deserves a whole lot more. Okay? Now my question to you is this. Do you want to become somebody in life?
relationship you now. My friend, mind your business now. <laughs> a fat guy. No so, a small person I ask you. Won't chop my head. See how now. She'll be dying now. Smile it up. Hey baby, you're back. Welcome. Yes, I'm back. How was your day? Babe, why are you fidgeting? Why don't you just change into your house clothes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> have you been? I'm good. Nice. I, uh, I did something. You know, something I, you know, naturally not in my character would do, you know. But this is not in my character, but I still did it. Uh, what did you do? Well, as my wife, I just said I should tell you I um, I brought someone home. You got someone pregnant? And you brought the person home? No. Have you no conscience? No, 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 nothing like that, please. No. Nothing like that at all, okay? I, I, I saw this homeless girl, and, uh, you know, I, I, I felt she needed a home, so I, so I brought her here. <laughs> okay, L look, look, look. I, I, I don't know why I did it, but, but I just felt something in me that said, oh, help this girl out, you know, and, and, and bring her to yours. And, you know, I really feel we should help this, this, this homeless girl, really. Wait, you brought her home? Yeah. Kelvin, you don't know this girl. You don't know where she's from, who her parents are. If she has any criminal blood in her. You don't even know she has any contagious disease. You, don't, you just brought her home. Come on, calm down. Where is she? Calm down. I'm calm. Where is she? She's outside. I, I I told her to wait with my assistants to inform you first. You're not actually joking. Mm -hmm. She's here. Yeah. You you call this informing me. You didn't tell me anything before now. We didn't discuss this. You 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 call informing me. No, this is insane. No, this is, she's downstairs. Anne, this is this. absolutely Anne, Anne, Come on now. Anne, insane. Anne. And what? Listen, it is good to help people. You okay? will not help boys. Boys that were suffering that are on the street, you could not have them. You choose a female to help. No, stop this. Listen, listen. I just had to help her. I followed my heart. That's Your heart is stupid. My heart is stupid. Yes, it is. That's what you're saying. My That's what I'm saying. Stupid. Yes. No, no, no. no. You're so come on, my heart being stupid. The same heart that followed you, that made me marry you, and miss other girls. You're saying it's now stupid. Then it wasn't stupid. Now it is. Come on. Rubbish. Stop this. And I behave yourself. Start being civil. Civil my ass. Hey, little girl. Please leave my house. Ma what? Why are you looking left and right? I said leave. He made a mistake. Hey! Drag her out. If she doesn't go, kick her out! Stop there. Kelvin! Kelvin! She stays here. We cannot throw her out into the streets. <laughs> she will remain at the seven squatters. We'll talk about this later. Kelvin, 
Cap. Looking at me like that. Oh, no, answer me now. Answer Anna. Not gonna bring person come. Are you crazy? Am I supposed to question Oga's decision? Listen. Every one of us was brought into this house on a day like this. Me, I was not brought to. I was employed. Okay. Not brought. Oga. Listen. Get if you live in this house and you work here and you are not a blood relative of this household, you were brought here. Period. Employed. Tell them. Employed. Tim, what can you mean, man? Are you trying to take another wife because I, I can't give you a child? Chili, 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 chili. In a barren cogni. No, 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 no. What, what, what is that an insult? What, what is that? Nam Charilu on you. Who? I want to marry who? That little girl? But I'm, I'm saying the truth. What truth? I, do you want another wife? What is wrong with you? No, you're, you're joking, right? No, because I'm moved by, by the milk of human kindness in me to be a father and guardian to that little girl and you misinterpret it this way. I thought a good woman supports her husband in acts of kindness. Michon Ugi. Michon. Yes, this is not an act of kindness. This is your selfish, your, your, your selfish interest at play. Yes, and I know what is causing it. Then what is it? Because I can't give you a child. That is the problem. What are you talking about? Is Mokoso not my child? I had her for someone else. Before I married you. Did you tell Mukosol that I'm not her biological father? Of course I won't say that. Then why are you bringing up this? Why are you bringing up issues where they're none? What is wrong with you, woman? I mean, that I moved to help this girl, is that an issue? I love you. And I've always loved you. Right from when I married you. Mukosolo was one year old and I also have loved her since then till now. That should show you that I have a large heart extended to other people. You of all people know how many children I take care of in the town where I am prince. Mm. How many of them I pay their school fees? How many of the parents I take care of too? So why is this little girl so much of a bother to you? Why do you hate her so much? Even from first sight, you've always hated her. What is it about her? Look, I have said my own, okay? I've said my own. And, and if you want to uh, help, help people that are less privileged, take the ugly ones now. Why are you taking the fine ones? Why are you taking fine girls? Wait, did that come off from your mouth? Huh? But I, I'm speaking my, my truth. You see me be like, you've gone bonkers, really. You, 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 you've gone nuts. I've gone nuts. You've gone nuts. Let her be the one that is ugly. Good night. Good night. I love you. I love you too. Papa, I think it's easy to give a more picture of the ugly ones. Boys say, say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. Can I concentrate, please? Sorry. Well, thank you. Just tell me. Ugly, ugly ones. Ugly. I will be a chick of the beer. Hey, I won, I won, I won, I won. Okay, let me just forgive you now. Let's do another one. Obi, chicken, Obi, Obi. Ah! I won again! One more. Obi, chicken, Obi, Obi. Ah! I won again! <laughs> Lolo, what is it now? Why are you not happy? Is Madame Abi? You see, Madame doesn't like anybody. It's not just you, she doesn't like anybody at all. The only thing Madame likes is money. Money and gifts. And when Oga takes her on all those their big, big vacation overseas, that's the only thing that makes her happy. Hmm? Me, I like you, you know I like you. 
and all the other servants too. They like you. So don't worry, everything will be fine here. Yeah? But I bozo. Oh, you. you. Jesus. You think you can defy me, Abi? In my own house. house. No. Hold up. Hold up. You stop her mouth. You say. You say. You say. You ask her to get her mouth and stop her mouth. If I hear beep, if I hear beep, you will die this night. Hold her legs. Ma. Hold her legs.
That's what about. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to have. We say we know open our legs. No, it's no worry. They close and they carry the bell. We'll sell them. You know them on you. <laughs> No, sir. No, sir. Warren. Sir. I'm sure you have her number, so call her. She no get phone. She say her phone where she been they use don't spoil and she never fit save money by another one. From this house in the middle of the night from a room you share with her packs her bags leaves the room closes the door and you didn't hear a thing Maureen this same girl not floating not flying walks past your room, Ama and Joe, and you didn't hear a thing. Now this same girl proceeds to the gate where Andrew is supposed to be. From his pocket, takes the key to the gate, opens the gate successfully closes the gate the gate obviously with its peculiar sound and the jiggling of the keys he didn't hear a thing and you keep quiet so everybody here is telling me this we all can be here sleeping and somebody can come from outside, carry every one of us on his or her head, and leave successfully, and we will not hear a thing or wake up. Honey, look. 
that you were nice to this girl, okay? But she even left without even saying thank you to you. That's her goal. Wait, you really think you're going to give gold to a pig? That pig will trample on your gold and go back to the gutters. Look, it's fine. She wants to leave. Let her leave. Okay? You traumatized her. You chased her out of this house. Treated her badly. Of course she was traumatized. Which brings me to my question. Is she wrong for running away? She's a thief. What did she steal from you? A smooth criminal. What did she steal will from you? Leave this house without anybody hearing her leave. This gate left and this guy did not wake up and she think she's not a thief? I hope she did not take, take any of my things. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma no, ma Have you checked? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma huh. Well, I guess you guys are happy. Oh, I'm happy. Honey, I'm very happy. If you were in my shoes, you would also be happy. You brought a girl to my family house. My house! Telling me she's part of my family with no discussion, no notice. Look, if you're looking for a daughter to fill a void, Muko is coming back home for vacation. Let her go. You all can go. He said you should leave now. David, can you just eat? She has gone. I don't have to. Kelvin. Mama, what is happening? How come you're not stealing bread? Mama, talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me. I have not been gone for so long. How did things change like this? It's thinking. I'm thinking. It's thinking that is killing me. Thinking about what? What would thinking even change? I'm thinking about a lot. I've gone through a lot ever since I was born. Mama, I know. I, I know a lot has happened to you. At least I know the ones you've told me. How my father and his family members drove us away. That caused all our suffering. But what happened to your shop? Our small provision shop, what happened? It's the local government people that came one day and destroyed all the shop built across the street gutter. They spared nothing. Good, good afternoon, sir. Good morning, sir. Have you seen Lolita? No, sir. I thought she was in your house. She ran away in the middle of the night. Why? I would you be nice to her? Well, my wife wasn't. Um, ask that young man if he has seen her. Okay, okay, come here. Okay. 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 Where's my girl? I just say you don't you don't do money with you. I've been as human traffickers now I said on two. Oga bring my girl. Will you shut your mouth? Or do you want me to close? I know you'll close my mouth, Oga. No. Never in the history of calm down has anybody calmed down before. Where's she there? Eh? Young man, I want you to tell me the truth. Have you seen Lolita? You self tell me the truth. Where is Lolita? I saw you on this thing. Now, person will cut three for inside bush. Then go come out for rain road. See, they ask who cut three for inside bush. Mm. Oga, where is Lolita? My friend, would you shut up? Boss, do, do we handle this? Hey, boy? hey, let, let, let him, let him, let him. It's okay. It's okay. Shift. 
she moved. lodged a complaint with the police. And I'm sure in 48 hours, somebody ah. will come up with something. I know they even they talk too much. Okay. I don't snap him. By the time me self go lodge my own complaint to police, we go know who gets the plate number and the address with it there. Then you explain yourself better. Eh? No, 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 no. See, go you know go help you. You have to provide my girl. I don't take your plate number, they go. We go know. Can, 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 no, can you imagine? I go go. I, I go find. You go do anything. You don't know what you do. Try. 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 You don't know what you do. They don't talk to rich men like that, they go lost too. They don't talk to rich men, but they still talk to us anyhow. They still talk to us anyhow. Make a friend with Piotr! What is this? What she said that happened to this not? Tama, what did you say? Hmm? You just talked. What did you say? I wasn't talking to you. Who were you talking to? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm right here, and you talked, so there's no other person in this room. Who were you talking to? I was talking to myself. About what? What do you know? What can I tell you? Mama, you can't tell me anything. It was not always like this. This is not how I planned my life. To be here, at this age. I'm so ashamed of myself. Mama, what is going on? <laughs> if, if there's something you think I should know, you can tell me anything, or can I? A lot. Like what? Mom, I've made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. No. I've made terrible mistakes. But I didn't know. How would I know? I thought it was child's play. No, it's scattering my head. All these thoughts, it's just turning my head, scattering my head. I, don't... I failed you. I did. Mama, please stop saying that, please. You've done your best. You've given me your best since I was a baby. Even though. Even though my father drove us out, you, you hey, mom, hey, God, hey, mom, you have no idea, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
everybody like this. Hey, Lola! Welcome. Ah. I'm not fine, Jerry. But now that I've seen you, I'm better. I beg, sit here first. Ah, you came very early. Yes, so. Ah. You just say you lost, true, true. Wait here for talk. Even that, that man that helped you the last time, he mm. came to look for you again. Mm. The man even accused him that he kidnapped you uh. and sold you for woman trafficking. What? Yes, now. The man almost fought that man. No. That's why I told him that I'll come and look for you. <laughs> I know you don't have a phone. But what's going happen? Why you run come up on your house? <laughs> Babe, I don't run, no. <laughs> I did not run. You not run? So how did you leave this house? You disappear? <laughs> Babe. That man's wife nearly killed me. Then she asked her servants to throw me out in the night. Girl, in the middle of the night. What? Now God save me. I saw one kiosk. I see my hide behind and sleep. Early moment, 4 a.m. I enter boss in the name of, of coming home. Then I want chance. They just pitied my life. Yeah. Took the money they saw, took the clothes that the man bought me some clothes that day. They took it, pushed me out of the bus. If not that I hid some money in my underwear, I for not even see money which house. And the man did not know. I don't know maybe he was asleep. Ah. No. I'm going to tell him everything. At least may not say not be your fault. You see my back. What's this? Ken Max, it is a joke. What? <laughs> ah no 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 no. You're not going back to the house. I cannot even go back, sir. My mom is sick. Sometimes I even think it was good that I was sent out of a gas house. <laughs> How else would I have known her condition has gotten this bad? Okay, when I came home, my mom had become a bread thief. Thief? <laughs> bread? Later I was going through her things and I saw some money. Like, how do you steal bread when you have enough money to buy it? That's how I know that whatever is going on with her is it's from the inside. Like sometimes she even talks to herself. I don't really know the depth of what's happening, but I can feel it. My mom is really going through a lot. I'll tell her that. Tell him more. Tell him I cannot come back to. Thank him for me. He's a very kind man. Very good man. But I ain't wife, eh? How man are there for my life? No, tell him that one, no. No, tell him that one, no. I beg. Morning! Morning! Sir! You call me. You stay there. Now, what happened to the little girl I brought here? And they talked to me. Little girl, sir. Little girl. Have you seen my bad side before? No, sir. Have I descended on you before? No, sir. Have you seen my ugliest side before in your life? Have I shouted at you before? No. Now, listen. If you try as much as play smart with me, with this your sudden loss of memory, I would descend on you like a dream bag. You wouldn't understand what hits you because I understand one thing for sure that nobody can escape this gate, even if you're drunk and sleeping. So start talking right now. I'm sorry, Oga. I only carried the instructions of Madame Oga. What were Madame's instructions? Talk! She asked me to, flog, sorry, push her out of the compound. Sir. She asked you to? To flog her, sir. You flogged her? Yes, sir. You flogged her? Yes, sir. You did flog her, and when I asked you the question, you lied to me. Yourself and Warren, right? Sir. You just shut up. You lied to me. Why I haven't descended on you yet is because I heard you were nice to her. You give her money for transportation, but still you lied to me. Sir, I'm very sorry, sir. You know, I cannot speak against my madam now. Madam now. Yes, uh, sir. What? What do you want to say? 
No, tell me what you want. What, what do you want to say? What? What? You used a weapon on her. You flogged her. Do you know that is aggravated assault? Do you know that? Do you know I can arrest you and keep you in jail for the rest of your life for that? Do you? Okay. Do you know that's a felony? Do you? Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. You no longer walk here. Okay? You're giving him the eye. Okay. Now listen. This man no longer walks here. Do you understand? He will live with nothing. Not even a penny. He will live with. Okay? okay? The same treatment he meted out Lonita, he will get. So start doing your work right now to send him out of here. Yes, sir. Like right Why? now. It's time for you to go. Yeah? Lie to me. Maureen, you lie to me. Do you know I can never trust you again? Do you know that? Huh? After how long you lied to me? Get out of here. I said, get out of here! Bounce! The speakable people! Lying to me! Today, Daddy, about two hours ago, two or three hours ago. Two hours ago. Yes, well, aren't you happy to see me? What's with all the questions? No, 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 no. just that somebody didn't tell me that you're here. Well, because I wanted to surprise you. You wanted to surprise me? Yeah. Just like you surprised me with Lolita. You hit my daughter coming back from me, right? Well, I just fired Andy. You fired Andy? Yes. Wait, what's happening? Are you guys fighting again? Well, ask the person who whipped somebody. Whipped? Mommy, you whipped somebody? Yes, and she deserved it. Ask your father who the street girl that he brought into this house is. Daddy, you brought a street girl in? My darling, can we just ignore violent people and talk about school? Well, Daddy, I do know you haven't sent me one in a really long time. So what's going on? Both the boyfriends. Oh, they're three boyfriends. <laughs> Oga and his wife have been quarreling seriously for some days now. That is why he sent me here to come and bring you back. <clears throat> Oga even sacked Andy. And he threatened me that if I don't come back with you, he will sack me too. So please, Lolo, you have to come with me. I have to come back with you. So that his wife will not throw me into the fire. Ah, no. No, thank you. Madame will not try it. She has mellowed. And you believe her? Yes. I don't. See, Madame is afraid of Oga's anger. And the house has been on fire since you left, and she doesn't want it to continue being on fire. What's this talk about house being on fire? Like, for what? For who? Me? How? Why? Who am I? Street worker? Please, oh. Why will Mr. Kelvin's house be on fire because of me? Am I worth it? Nobody's house should be on fire because of me, Biko. A guy no. even said he had a dream about you. That God told him to help you. Yes. He even said his conscience will not let him rest until he has helped you. Especially after what Madame did to you. Please, Lolita, you have to come back with me. Auntie Maureen, I cannot come back with you. I cannot. See, my mother is sick. If I leave here, who will take care of her? <coughs> I'll stay back here and do my business. Mr. Kevin gave me some money to ah. open a store. And he promised to pay me salary for taking care of my mom. Just go. Why? No, is this not too much? <sighs> Babe. No! Shot, no, no! Me too. But if he has the money, and it's what he wants to do. Just go. Maybe this is how he wants to help you. He uses people to help other people. Is that not what we call miracle? Eh? He has sent you a destiny helper. Are you going to refuse him?
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. I am happy to see you. We are happy to see you. I hope you are happy to see us as well. Yes, sir. Good. So how is your mother? I hear she's sick. She's coping, sir. Sir, thank you so much for all your kindness towards her. Rinola told me everything. Let us thank he who empowers us to help. Because it is a privilege to help. Madam the Good Madam. Afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. I see that you're back. And in an executive manner, as a matter of fact, in a private taxi. Coming from you that is used to buses, tricycles, and trekking. Well done. I hope you are very proud of your achievements. Please, I, I, I am no madam. Please forgive me if I've wronged you in any way, please. Just take me the way you, you take your humble servant. I will serve you. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do anything, any errand you ask me to, to, to do. I will. Okay. We will see if you are truly humble or you're just pretending. Carry your things to the guest bedroom. My husband here says that you're going to be moving to the main house. I've been be so you talk up. Honey? Yes, I said so. You see? <laughs> Your rank has increased. Congratulations. Sir. Please, sir. Can I be staying in the servant quarters with Maureen? Stand up. <laughs> Lolita, you're not here as a servant, but you're here as one this family wants to help. Okay? So, before Maureen takes you to your room, know this. Aside your salary, you'll be receiving pocket money for one or two things you will need from time to time. If you have any problem, tell me. Tell us. We are here to take care of you. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank Good. you. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Oranges, this girl. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm almost done. I'm, I'm peeling them. I'm almost done. Okay. Inukwa. I was only paying her a compliment. Oh, you're telling me that my servant, my maid, is cute? Have you lost your mind or something? I mean, babe, <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I mean, it, go, it goes to show I have nothing to hide. You had better have nothing to hide for you to sit here and pay, pay the maid, the help, they could not of me. Mama, is this, this, this that thing that you and daddy brought to the house? Seducing my boyfriend. Seducing? 
she, I mean, she wore something that's short enough, it can't even cover up her ass. Anoga, you were seduced. Eh? Um, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'd have to take my leave now. This is all too embarrassing. I'm happy. You better take your leave. Lolita! Lolita, Bo! Lolita! How'd you hear me? Okay, so I heard that you have some clothes that can put you into temptation. Oh yeah, let me see them one by one. Your clothes. You are wearing red. Do you know that this is a demonic color? You are wearing red in my house. You want me to be seen danger, danger? Put it there. Oh yeah, Leggings. You are wearing leggings. You, you want all your shit to be outside so that the men in this house will be confused. So that people will start to look at you and be soliciting you. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? No. no. Then you want to someone to help you. You will not say uh, me too. No. Put it there. Put it there. This clothes doesn't look like color. This is this is rag. This is, this is, this is rag. This is something that you need to clean floor. No rag. Eh? Show me another one. Where's the remaining cloth? Please. Open back. I knew you had the mission in this house. You're wearing open back. Open back in my house. I, eh? I, 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 no. You know what? If I sound you, put it there. Oh yeah? Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Uh, you know what? This one. Rag. It's rag. You know what? Just, just pack it, pack it, pack it, let's go. You don't want people to be solicited in this house. You don't want people to rape you, right? Pack it, pack it, pack it. You don't want to be raped. No. You don't want to be raped. No, no, no. Hey, pack it, pack it, pack it, and follow me. Yes. Oh yeah, pack, 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 pack it. I leave the jeans, just pack up this one. Even this one you are wearing is safe. Pack it! <laughs> all the red, red ones, yes, all these ones. All these ones. <laughs> you bought this thing. So you are stealing my money. No, my, my mommy bought you. Your mommy bought you, Kumba. Your mommy is your problem. When you get home, cross her. Oh, yeah. Pack it. Pack it. Follow me. We have to burn these things, okay? You don't want men soliciting you or you do you want to get raped? Do you want to get raped? Exactly. Eh? Say God forbid will I get raped. I will not get raped in Jesus' name. God forbid. Eh, oh yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Pour it. Thank you, you can go. You handle it for me. Oh yeah, pour it. What is it? Pour it! Let me help you with this one, eh? Put it, put the light. Why are you crying now? What is it? My mommy bought these clothes for me. Yeah, but she, she's not dead. She's, she's just sick, Abby. She'll buy you another one. Oh, yeah. Be fast. Be fast. <laughs> eh? You are crying. I know that you are sad, but it's okay. Cry well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> cry, 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 cry. <laughs> this is your clothes. You go and tie up and you will burn it. You, know, you want them to rape you in my house. I don't like this. You want them to rape you? Eh? <laughs> Sorry, eh? Uh -huh. Cry. Cry very well. Cry, cry, cry. <laughs> All your sins will be forgiven. And when you're done, when this thing has burnt finished, you pack everything and go and break away. I don't want my clothes to come back and see all these things. You hear? Well done. Good girl. Let it burn very well. Come on, you pack it. <laughs>
another one. Tell me another one. Why did the man throw the butter out the window? Why? To see the butterfly. <laughs> nonsense you're doing. Go! Oh, you drop that dress! Are you trying to hold it together to show us your shape here or what? Hey, let me warn you. Don't ever try that nonsense here. Did you hear me? Once you're around me, be natural, okay? Okay. Sorry. Madam, use your number six. Come on, put, put it inside the glass, Joe. Who is meant to do it? Contents are wasted. <laughs> You're wasting content. You're wasting content. We should be making money off of you. Do you really think I'm funny? Honey? Like career comedian, funny. <laughs> <laughs> To buy. I said he needs something to smoke. I don't know what is something. Shut up, bush girl. Low budget poker hunters. Just give the money to her. Walk out the estates. See this area boy. Give the money to them. Tell them you want happiness. Whatever they give to you. And bring it here. I beg. Take. I stand up from this place. Go and buy it. Oh yeah. Fast. If they are talking to you, you'll be moving like an old woman. Oh, she's moving slow, so she doesn't get the fly by her shoes. <laughs> has a sick mother. I'm sure she's thinking about her. She can't be happy 24-7. Right? Yes. yes. Relax. Your mother is in good hands. Ariola tells me this all the time. 
again, I'll buy you a phone. Yes, so you can communicate with Ariola since your mother doesn't have a phone. Thank you, sir. I hope this cheers you up a little bit. Yes, sir. Thank right. you, sir. Don't you pulled last night? Were you trying to cause trouble between myself and my husband? No, 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 ma'am. So why were you crying at the dining table? Oh, you want him to pity you and that your useless mother, right? Oh, you want him to believe that we're not treating you right? No, it's Moko. She's always saying hurtful things to me. She always makes me cry. That's so what? Don't you deserve it? You think Moko will be happy that you are sharing her father's affection with her? I know exactly how to deal with people like you. Devils like you. I know how to deal with you. Follow me. Now. toilet and, and did not flush. Do you want me to flush it? No. I used it and I did not flush. I want to use it to punish you for what you did yesterday. Yes. You will go in there, you will not flush, close the door and you are going to be dead till 4 p.m. this evening. You will inhale every bit of that shit. That is your food. What? Please. I will not beat you. I won't even stress. <laughs> My husband says I should be nice to you. I should not hurt you. I'm not hurting you. At all. Ever since you came into this house, you've been a source of pain to me and my family. So. Go in. Please. Why? <laughs> Why? I'm not, I'm not doing anything bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching you. And if you dare open that window, if I will stab you in a place my husband will not see. Your mother is going to become childless. So go in. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You think I'm going to spit you or stress over you? That is too much stress. You are not worth it. But you see, in this house, you will suffer. I will show you Pepe. Off you go. Don't let me stand up. Don't let me stand up. You will not like me. Sit. Move closer. I said move closer. Inhale. In. In. Out. I said in. Out. Open your mouth. Open. I said open. Open. If you vomit, you're going to eat it. 
I will make you eat your vomit. How does it smell? Like Chanel? Dior? Enjoy it. That's right. If Lolita the Beautiful. Good morning. Ah, you're just going to walk past me like that without saying anything. Do you know how long I've been waiting for you here? I know you run errands through this road every time. Uh, good so afternoon. I've been waiting for you here. See, listen, the plan is simple. You and I could go somewhere now and have fun. What says thou? And trust me, I could be your secret boyfriend as well. Forget what I want to do with Muko when I join Muko to insult you. And I have to do that now. I mean, that's the plan. It's a decoy. I can't be sweet. I can't be sweet in front of her as well. But trust me, deep here, there's only you there. Everything here is just you. Trust me, believe me. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, please, please, um, can you allow me to go? Please, Sister Muko sent me on an errand and she needs, it, she needs it urgently. What did she ask you to buy? What is it? It's pad. She wants me to buy pad and she needs it urgently. Oh, my friend, relax. Let her use rag or napkin or something. Nobody has ever died from not using sanitary pads. I've never heard somebody who died. Very quick, we could jump into a cab now. Go there. God Be forbid! <laughs> God forbid. Me! Go away with you. Never. Because I want to manage you. Trust me, you'll pay for this daily, baby. You will. <laughs> you never know. Eh? Me. Okay. So, like I was saying, your house help, Lolita. I saw her going into a chemist shop to make purchase of pregnancy control pills. Yeah, exactly. I was shocked because I was like, what? And then the moment she saw me, she hurriedly left the store. But trust me, I went after her and I snatched the pills from her. So that she said she was running errands for you, buying sanitary parts. I was like, okay, that works. How about the um, pregnancy control pills? I did for you as well. So that, she had no answer. I mean, I, I did send her to get me a sanitary pad like a while ago, but... So you see, it's not like I'm making this whole story up. No, you're not making this up. You know what? To further cement my suspicions that that girl has been sleeping around with all the gate men in this estate and on the street, I, I approached one of the gate men. Because I mean, I saw her smiling at almost every gate man in the estate. So I walked up to one and asked him what the dynamics of their relationship would be. I asked others, would you believe almost 10 of them said the same exact thing? Guess what? Ah, sweet Lolita, sweet girl. And you and I know what it means when guys begin to um, call a girl sweet girl. You know what? My mother must hear of this. I mean, I'm calling her immediately. You should. What if she gets pregnant in our house? Who's going to bear the responsibility for that? My family? God forbid. But you know that you know your father. He will not send her away. We need proof. If we don't have proof, we can't present this to him. Well, we need to get proof because I can't keep struggling for my father's love and attention with this thing. I need her out of the house. Okay, you know what? Don't say anything to her. Let's get proof or better still, we'll find some of the boys in the street to come forward with proof. But how do we get proof, mommy? You know daddy will need proof. Money. Money does it. It's as easy as ABC. Money does this thing very easy. It will work. Just me. Let me call you back, mommy. Put it 
inside my room. Don't come here. Did you see that? The way she paused and looked at you? You know, I thought it was just me. <laughs> it's her guilty conscience. That's what's happening. It's going to eat her alive. Baba, no verse, I disturb you. No verse, I beg, I beg. Bro, I beg. You see that your own, um, that girl where they stay in your house. That girl, that girl where they stay in your house, Baba. That girl, now my babe. Lolita, now my babe, oh God. So, I'm um, on me, now my babe, now my girl. Or any invention. So, what's going to happen? You say, in the corner, some of the guys where they would. Ah, oh, Baba, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, they come at them. But, as you see, say with the, you, they pass now. We just stay. Me and this my nigga say, okay, say we go block you now. Come on. What do you mean, we go block you? Say, you can't tell us, say, we go marry that Lolita today. I'm a Jekin, I'm a son. A boy. Come on, come on. 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 I go blow you. You don't. You don't crazy. You don't want me. I. You don't want me. I go blow you. I go blow you. You don't want me. 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 What you have been doing with street urchins? Sir, I have not been doing anything with any street boy, sir. Sir, I swear I have not been doing anything with any street boy. Any boy at all, sir. I've not done anything. What hey. else I did? Welcome home, Daddy. Hi, darling. Hi. What's wrong, Daddy? What has she done this time? She's done nothing. You're going back to school. I'm going to buy you your university matriculation examination form. Such a brilliant child cannot be left without higher education. Thank you, sir. Well, Thank you so much. You know what's best, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some boys were trying to 
mischievously used your name to tell me a thing or the other. But I smelled a rat. I didn't fall for it. Still, you have to be careful. Am I understood? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, Lolita, since you're going to be in the university just like me, what, would you, what do you want to do with your life? I want to be a lawyer. Eh? Lawyer? As in my mind, a lawyer. Are you not too old to go to school? How old are you? Are you not 28? No, no ma, I am 24 years old. Uh, that is the time you're supposed to be graduating, not entering the university. Look, her hair is 23 and she's already, she's almost graduating from school. An old ma cannot go to school. Maybe you should just go and sell paper or learn bricklayer and work, eh? Everybody must not do things at the same time. Different things happen to different people at different times. Lolita, to your room. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, baby, why are you always making her feel like we are against her? I'm only telling her the truth. Break clear work is not a bad work now. She doesn't have to go to school. You're not against her? No. Besides Amma, Joe, and Maureen, who else likes her here? Uh, we, we like her. Daddy, what about me? Yes. If he falls, you are in trouble. <laughs> Stay where? Harry. Madam lawyer. Future university goer. Tell us, who was the first female lawyer in Nigeria? Anna! You can't answer. Uh, 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 Dora? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Lawyer, lawyer, see yourself. You have no brain. You are dull. And you want to waste my family's money? Eh? It is better to actually train a millipede that would send you to school. Moko, answer the question. Stella Thomas is the name of the first female lawyer in Nigeria, 1935. Well, Folake Sholanke, born 1932, is the first senior advocate of Nigeria. You see, always representing our mother. <laughs> eh? And you, want to, and you want to be a lawyer. Okay, answer this one. There are two houses in the English parliament. Name them. Name them. Name them. I don't know. I mm. don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Moko. The English Parliament is made up of two houses. The House of the Lords mm -hmm. and the House of the Commons, which is why it's called a bicameral legislature, because both houses are actively involved in lawmaking. Exactly. Do you still want to be a lawyer? Do you think you have everything it takes to be a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Do you think you want to be a lawyer? No. What do you want to become? A, a mechanic? Mechanic. <laughs> Dollard. Dollard. If that thing falls, if that thing falls, you're in trouble. If that thing falls, if he falls, see, this thing is not hard, though. Okay? When my husband comes back from work, you tell him that he wants to go back to your village, you don't want to go to school again. Okay. All your suffering will end. Okay. Will you do that? Yes, I'm happy. Good. I'm you. you don't deserve to go to school. It's not in your, it's in your destiny to go to school. <laughs> go back to your village. Yes, <laughs> it's yours. Oh, yes, my if this thing falls, smile. You, you want to be, you want, you want to be a lawyer. <laughs> okay, answer this question. <laughs> what is the square root of two million? Mm. Um, 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 My plastic! My plastic! This plastic can buy the whole generation! Idiots!
It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Stop crying. That is not okay. Oh. It's not okay. I'm dying, oh. God forbid. I'm dying. Stop saying I'm that. Dying. You will not die. Hmm? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. You will see. Everything will work out fine. Hmm? They want you to break, but you must not break. They want you to get angry and, 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 and tell Oga that you want to go. They want you to run away from this house. But you must not. Yes, you must not. You have to be strong. If you endure till the end, you will wear a crown of glory. Yes. Hmm? What else can they even do? What else? They've already done their worst to you. They've not done their worst. They've not done their worst. They want to kill me. God forbid. What am I doing here? What am I doing in their house? What am I doing in the house that is not my own? Lolita. Thank God. You are here to become a lawyer. Mm. A big woman. That is mm. what you are doing here. Mm? And as long as your guy is by your side, as long as he has touched his heart to help you, he will help you. Don't worry. I, I overheard them mocking you, calling you a uh, uh, pro professor at law. Don't worry. That is what you will become. You will see. That name they are using to mock you. God will make it to become your reality. Say amen, Lolita. Say amen. amen. Mm -mm. amen. Say it like you mean it. Say amen. Lolita, talk. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Say it with power. Amen. Don't worry, my hey, baby. You must not break, oh, because that is their plan. They want you to break, but you must not. You have to be strong, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a potted plant, and it's an ornamental potted plant. It's meant to be indoors, not outside. Do you understand that? And you know, potted plants are like pets. So this is my pet. Are you following? So, as I leave for school this evening, you will take care of this plant. You will water it morning and night, every single day. Are you listening? If not, it will die. And if it dies, you are going to pay me, Lolita, at whatever amount I request for. Yep. And Maureen, you are here to bear its witness. So in the future, she doesn't have the opportunity to deny it. Did I make myself clear? Yes. Now go fetch water to water is. Quickly! Wow! You're telling me you went to kidnap the Pacific Ocean for this little potted plant? You really are daft! What's your plan? To drown it? Hey! What are you doing? You intended to take care of my plant? I asked you to bring a little, a little water and you brought the whole ocean to do what? To drown the plant? No, I, I brought a bucket so you can take the quantity you want. Oh, you shut up your mouth. Who are you, who are you speaking English for? Eh? Oh, just a cup of water. You want to pack your family problems inside a bucket? <sighs> you want to bath, Abby? You know what? Lie down. Yeah. Wait, hold on to this. Yeah. Lie down. Oh. Excuse me, if you open your mouth again, then you will join her on the floor. Sure. Lie down! On the floor, lie down! Since it is your family problem. Oh, oh really? Hey, Gango, babe, I I've seen this one before. You guys are in real trouble. Whenever servants like this begin to gang up, trust me, expect a rebellion. I mean, a mutiny. Don't worry. I'm up for the task. You want to join her there, Abby? You want, you want to lie down there with her? <laughs> I'm ready for the both of you, don't worry. Swim! Swim, Andy! Swim! 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 
He wanted to join. He wanted to join. Swim, swim. clothes for me. I'm going to church. Do not burn my clothes. Yes. And be fast. gone a long time ago. She didn't leave until she caused a huge damage in my house. Tomorrow morning you take me to where her mother lives. Don't go, sir. Don't go. Um, Maureen is here to see you, sir. Maureen? Sir. I hope my wife didn't send her here. The alcohol. Yes. That is why I carried my bag and ran away this morning. Let's come and tell you everything. Sir. I once lied to you before, and you were not happy with me. You are a very good man, and you have been very nice to me since I started working in your house. So, I cannot betray you again by taking Madame to Lolita's house to go and harm her. You cannot. I know you've taken her like your, your own child, so you will not be happy. But I also know this, this has cost me my job. Because there's no way Madame will want to see me again after this. You've done well. You'll be taken care of. Till I get out of this hospital, I'll figure out what to do. Alright? 
But for now, you will go back to your people. You're a good cook. Don't bother about getting another job. I'll help you get your own restaurant. Uh, sir, I, I don't want to be a bother, sir. I can just look for another job somewhere else. I didn't do this for you, any reward at all. I didn't. No, it's, it's okay. You have served me well. Just go to your people, okay? Ama will be in touch. Ama. Sir. Give her 150,000 naira, okay? Yes. Um, I'll tell you what to do next. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. You will take him to Lolita's house. Make sure she's safe. And when you get there, give her 100,000 naira for upkeep. Okay? Thank you, sir. What she has said stays here. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. Please get well soon, sir. I will, I will. Thank you, Regards sir. Regards to your people. Yes, sir. Regards to your people. Regards to your people. We don't want this man's money. We don't want his education. Look, my daughter is a fine girl. She will meet a good man soon. She will marry a good husband. Her husband will send her to school. Tell your boss that that is what I, Lolita's mother, said. Look, I know the suffer that I have suffered. I don't want any complicated life for my daughter, Biko. I don't. And tomorrow, please just tell Oga that I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry for everything. And I wish him fast recovery. But you heard my mother, and I stand with her. I'm not going back to the house. Boys, you've come for you. You know, you know my boss? You know Mr. Kelvin? On what? On what? Wait. She's, she's your mother? I heard you were dead. I, I heard that you got married and you and your wife live in Canada. What is going on, sir? What's going on? What's happening? You know him? You know my mother? 
this 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 is your your father eh? mama 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 what are what are mama mama wake up wake up what are mama mama Mommy, Mommy, wake up, please. Mommy, wake up now, wake up. Who is Owen? Who is Kenne? Who did you say is my father? Please wake up now, Mommy. Oh, get water! Mommy, please. I was told you, you were dead. You ran mad before death. You had a child on the streets and you died in the process. Who told you this? Ngozi. Of course I asked my father, but my father didn't want to say anything. Of course because of what you did to me. I had no other choice but to talk to Ngozi. She lied to you. Who is Ngozi? Oh, God. What a wicked woman. Wicked woman in the village. to see her. She has a lot to explain. So much to say. The smell of my blood in you led you to me. The smell of our blood made me have that conviction to accept you as a guardian, as a father. Lolita, you're my daughter. My blood. This is too much to bear. This is... Let's go to your father. You can say he looks confused. Go and hug him. My daughter. To think. To think how much you have suffered. What would have befallen you if I didn't find you? Adam. Proceed to Ngozi's place. If we go to the palace, word will spread that the crown prince is around. And if Ngozi hears that the crown prince is now connected with Onwe, she will sense danger. So we go to her place first of all. Yes, sir. Make a left. Then second right. Why are you running? 
to your life? Do you see where you are in life now? You will tell us every single thing you know. You must confess or face what you wouldn't understand. Move out to our house. Ngozi, you and I were best friends when we were young girls. You told me some things that that made me do some things that has changed my life today. I've suffered, Ngozi. Oh, how I have suffered. You have no idea. Sometimes they say, I am mad. That I have mental disorder. Sometimes I... I get admitted in a hospital for months with no real sickness in my lab test. Then I became poor. So poor I have nothing to eat. Sometimes I go and do... I do shameful things. And people of Lagos will gather and beat me. Because I have come to know the truth. Because when Kenneth came back from his studies abroad, he came to you to ask about me. Because no one would tell him where I was. You told him that I was dead. It means you have a lot to hide, Gozi. It means that everything you told me was a lie. That is why God has punished you like this. And punished me too. For believing you. For breaking my vow. A very important vow. Anne. Anne is your wife. Who is which Anne? Anne from from Umulele. Anne from Umulele community. Please stop, 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 please. Both of you, what, what, what's going on? What has Anne got to do with this? Anne is not from here, she's from Umulele, so what has she got to she do with She has got it? everything to do with this. Can you bring her? I'm not come here, no. But please talk, okay? I, I want to hear you out. If need be, she needs to come here. Definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. You know, I'll, I'll make any provision for her to come, but talk. Gossip, please talk to us. Please. It all began one day. Anne came to me. She was angry. She, she was crying. She was not happy at all. <laughs> oh, Guinea, why are you crying? <laughs> what is the problem now? Talk to me, Biko. You came all the way from your village to my place. Now you're here crying. Tell me what is wrong so I can help you. It's my father. What happened to him? I don't like the way they treated him the other day. Who, 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 who treated him like that? The Igwe of your village. Uh, and his boys. They messed him up. He even slapped him. You need to see. You need to see the way they treated him like an animal. <laughs> Igwe, please, now, nah, have mercy. You know economy is bad. Do you know, it's only 35 naira I have in this house. Eh? Please. Since yesterday, we have not eaten. Eh, please. 
for. Have mercy. Me, have mercy. Eh? The money you borrowed from me, you have still not paid it. I sent my boys. And you don't give it to them. So I decided to come myself. And you're telling me stories. Just one more chance. No <laughs> more chance. Eh, uh, Ebuka. Uh, Adam. This will be the last time. Mm. Two weeks. Okay. That's the last I can give to you. Okay. On one go. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. Try. See. Hi. Oh, but. Hmm? but. Papa, what is it? What did you do to the Igwe? You lent me money now. Huh? That was the money I used in paying for your exams. <coughs> Since two months, I couldn't pay. So that's why I treated you like this. That's why now. Huh? Bad economy. Don't worry. We'll, we'll pay him. We'll look for a way. We'll pay him his money. From where? Papa, don't worry. We'll find a way to do that. I don't know, but we'll pay him. Ah, <coughs> bad economy. Hey, what you did to him was really bad, though. Sorry. You remember the other day you were passing through our village? And some jealous girl wanted to beat you up. Mm, mm, mm. I was there to help. Mm. <laughs> I need you to help me now. Hey, one can help you how? I don't have any money. If you shake me now, you throw me one cowboy, you will not see. No. I want to get married to the Igwe son. Hey! Kelvin. <laughs> but you know Kelvin is already engaged to my friend Cynthia and my best friend, don't you know? I know. And that is why I've come to you for help. Please. You need to help me. You need to help me get out of this. And you know, you've also experienced the pain of poverty since the death of your father. You've been the one taking care of your blind mother. You need to help me, please. And I promise to give you 100,000 if you help me. Do you look at me? 100,000 Naira? Have you started stealing? No. Do you want to see 100,000 Naira? Don't worry, I'll be traveling to my aunt's place at Abba. In two weeks, I'll be back with the money. I promise you'll get it in two, just two weeks. I'll give you your money, please. Just help me. Please, yes, please. This, this please. thing you're asking me to do. My, yeah, like my friend, please. You are like my friend. Yeah. Please, you're the only one that can help me, please. Because just say yes, please. Just say yes. Please. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank 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 you. so much. Thank you. 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 If you're not acting normal, you are acting as if something is bothering you. I said I'm okay. I'm fine. Seriously. Trust me. I'm okay. Let's go. See, you know you are my best friend. If anything is happening, tell me all. Oh. I'm fine, nothing is wrong. So, let me see now. I'm fine. Hey! Babe, hmm? don't do this. Oh. Tell me, talk I'm, to me. If I have a problem, I'll tell you now, you know. Okay. I'm fine. So, let me just see something. Something happened. Okay. Is this guy? Hey! Yes, I know. I'm fine. Talk. Time is going. That was how my conscience keeps flogging me each time I see my friend Cynthia. Because of what I was planning to do. Then two weeks later, Anne came back from Abba and gave me the 100,000 naira she promised me. She even gave her father the money to pay back Igwe. Saying she met this kind man that promised to marry her. You know, a white man that lavished her with gifts. The man finally left Asha. <laughs> Few years after Kevin has traveled, she was pregnant for the man. And then he vanished. <laughs> it's a story for another day. So, Igwe and Anne's father, 
became friends again. We also planned for me to invite Kelvin to this house. <sighs> Try to seduce him and then shout that he came to rape me. Ah! Ngozi! Because of who Ngozi! So now you know the truth. You know the truth. After all my proclamations of innocence, have you heard the truth? You shamed me. I was brought to shame by the village. My parents had no choice but to send me abroad to avoid me killing myself. Congratulations. My God do not forgive you, Gozi. God do not forgive you, Gozi. God do not forgive you. Stop it, stop it. My God do not forgive you. I want to hear everything. So behave. I did what I did. Everyone believed me. Because I was Cynthia's best friend. They took us more like sisters than friends. Cynthia's parents were both dead. She took my mother like her mother. She eats all her meal, all her major meals in my house. Even when the prince gives her money, she would always share it with me. No one, no one would believe I would lie against her man. Everyone believed my allegation and frowned at what they believed Kelvin did to me. Cynthia was so heartbroken and disappointed. Why like, can I do this to me? <laughs> Why I gave him my heart? Why? <laughs> my heart is broken, God. My heart. Even me. My heart, my heart is so broken. Okay? I don't know why he did this. But what will we do now? What has happened has happened. I don't know. We cannot kill ourselves. <laughs> uh, hey. Open <laughs> your eyes. No. You, see, you don't know what you don't know what you don't know what God will do. You don't know what He has in no. plan for you. I swear, I swear, I swear. I will never have anything to do with that. I, I agree. I will never. I agree. <laughs> you do that. Oh. Oh. I swear to you. As long as I live, you will never be again. For this shame and disgrace you brought to me. We are over. We We swan oath of love to be together forever. The oath you broke. Even the ancestors can see it. The ghosts can see it. The oath is not holding us bond again. Don! I am innocent. No. I am innocent. No. How else do you want me to tell you this? You choose to believe them and not me. I am your love. You choose to believe outsiders. No, you have to believe me. Ngozi is not an outsider. Ngozi is like a sister to me. She can't lie to me. What will she gain? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. You know what? Forget about me. Forget about me. After that, 
and found a way to get close to me. Prince Kelvin! Prince Kelvin, wait. What's the matter? I heard what happened. And I think you're innocent. I believe your own side of the story. So if you need anybody to talk to, I'm here. She became my consoler and my best friend. That's all I came to tell you all the way from my village. She was the only one who believed me. In my pain. And found her way to my heart. Wait! And when I left for London, wait. she promised to wait for me no matter how long it took me to come back. I schooled in London. Worked in London. Sent her money. Yes. Sent her money to pay her school fees. She went to the university. I trained Anne from London. Kenna and I swore a blood oath and called the spirits and the ancestors to bear witness. But when I thought that he had desecrated our love by coming on to my friend, I also believed that the oath has been broken. So when his family sent him abroad to study and live there, away from the shame of the village, I also got married to a rich businessman who came for my hand. He took me to Lagos to live with him. I didn't even know that I was pregnant for Kelvin with my daughter Lolita. And so this man started falling sick. His business he started failing and he started losing money. And so he went to find out what is happening. And they told him that I was the reason for his bad luck. That I was another man's wife. And a witch. He came home and asked me why Lolita was born only seven months after he met me. He got curious and he had a DNA test. That was how he knew that Lolita was not his daughter. Oh God. And then he drove me out. Oh my God. With the little money I saved, I tried my hand at every business. But they all failed. I went back to the village and asked about Kelvin from Ngozi. Ngozi told me he was still in London and maybe in prison. Later, I heard he was married, living in Abuja, some said Canada, some said Lagos, some said London. I gave up searching for you. I began to have loss of memory. Sometimes I do things. Sometimes I... I forget myself. Lolita and I began to move backwards. And backwards to the worst part of town. Five years later, I came back and wept profusely. Told me she made a mistake. Said because she was lonely, she. She slept with a white man, got pregnant, had a daughter. 
she hid the daughter in her bar with an aunt of hers. Myself and her proceeded to Abba to see this child. I saw the child and named her Mukosolo. Mukosolo. I forgave her and married her. Myself, Mukosolo, and Anne came back to Lagos. Mukosolo till date doesn't know I am not her biological father. My late father of blessed memories. I lied to. Told him my wife was pregnant and nine months later had given birth. I made sure my father didn't see Mukosolo until she was five. He thought she was four years old. <sighs> my father never knew this. Never knew until he joined his ancestors. What? Yes. No. I just believe that this is ghost time. I'm sorry for all I did. I'm so sorry. I used that money for my mother's eye surgery. But the surgery didn't work. Because my mother is still very blind. And me, I'm still here suffering. I'm still in this village. No one came to marry me. No future, no plans. But I believe, I just believe that the ancestors will forgive me. They will have mercy on me now that at least I have confessed. I just believe that you have mercy on me. You did not confess, so You were confronted. That is why you spoke up and revealed all these secret things. You're so evil. This blood oath must be very powerful. That is why I've been punished like this. Could it be what led my daughter back to her father? Huh. This life is deep. Deeper than the ocean. We can never truly understand it. I have a confession. Before I traveled, I went into the bush. Got naked and swore, laid curses on every single person. Every single person who was involved in my shame. I told God. I said, God, punish them. Punish them. Let none of them know peace. Forgive me. Again, please, just forgive me. Please. Come with my friend. Please. Beg you, forgive me. You stole my life away from me. <sighs> my head is full.
ancestors of our land. I believe you were present when Kene and I vowed to love each other and be with each other forever. You witnessed how I pricked my finger with a thorn and produced blood which he licked. And he did the same which I licked. I vowed to keep that, but I broke it when I, when I got married to another man. And heaven and earth has since then punished me so much for this. And I have known no peace, no roots, no home. I'm a roaming lady. But I've realized my mistake. I should have stood by the man I love. Especially when I had no strong proof of what my friend Ngozi accused him of. Please forgive me. If it pleases you, unite Kenna and I again. We already have a child together. But if it pleases you not, if my sins are, are so big to be forgiven, then I accept my punishment. And I stay alone forever. I promise no man will touch me again. I'll be happy just knowing that my daughter Lolita has reunited with her father again. Eke Orie Afo Unkwa Yes, Mukosolo. I want you to get on the next flight from Ghana to Nigeria. I'm fine. Your mother is fine. We have a family meeting. No, it's not about my injury, no. Not about the horse, no. Like I said, we are fine. We have lots to talk about, though. Today, See you at home this evening. You'll be picked up at the airport. That is all that happened. I have not added nor removed from the story. Whatever I've said today is the truth and nothing but the truth. And knows about it. Anne. Did you hear her? Did you hear what Ngozi said? Deny it. Deny you set me up to marry into my family's wealth. <laughs> Deny you actually married to me because of the revenge you had against my father. Because of your selfishness, deny it. Look, I am not denying anything, okay? All what she has said is in the past. I I'm your wife now, it changes nothing. What do you want me to do? Go back to the past and this one I brought in history class here. I don't know what you want me to say. This one came now with her sponge wig. Is she going to fit into this house? This child that you say that is your child, you don't even know if she's, she's your real child. You have not done DNA to confirm. They don't fit here, they don't belong here. So no, I'm not denying anything. Don't you feel any guilt? Don't you feel any remorse for what you've done? I'm still talking. Don't you? 
for everything you have done to my daughter, Lolita. One who is princess to the throne. One who is the heir apparent to every single thing I have. What are you talking about? What about Mukohe? Eh? Is she assistant, assistant um, heir to your throne or what? Daddy, what about me? What about her? Please, he's not your daddy. Yo. Who is talking? He's not. Ask your mother who your father is. I, I, this is my house. You are still talking. You don't belong here. Yeah. Lolita, don't be like her. Do you know what she put me through? Do you know? What did they put you through? This is my house. If you say one word. Hey, see this one? Small yash they shake. Lolita. Yes, daddy. Eh? Come here. You don't go back. Sit. My princess. What would you want me to do to these people? People who have hurt us. I'm talking about Anna. Mukosol. Mukosi. And of course your mother. I begged you. I begged you with every single thing. I begged you in the name of God. I begged. In the name of our love, I begged you. But you allowed me wallow in shame. You allowed this girl suffer. You made our daughter suffer. I begged you. Lolita would have lived in wealth, in the comfort of her father's home. But you said no. Daddy, are you just going to forget about me like that? You. Your heart is as evil as your mother's. Now my question to you is this. How do you expect me to treat you after knowing what you and your mother did to my daughter Loneta while she lived here as a maid? Answer me. But in all of this, in all of this, all of this, I blame you! Daddy? Daddy? Daddy, the, the only revenge I want is forgiveness. Please forgive my mother and take her back. That she was young, she was foolish. Please.
Daddy, let me go and take care of the rest as you wish. Upset, he will get you calm down. Then we'll talk about it. Yeah. If you no cause, mom. My father has asked that you take your things and leave. Go to the village or anywhere you like, as long as it's not under his roof. Hmm. You will stay there until he decides your fate. But mind you. He will be filing for divorce very soon. And for you, Muko, I advise you to ask your mother to take you to who your real father is. It's your right. You have a right to know who your real dad is. My daddy is no longer interested in adopting you as a child. Ama. I am the princess, and I order you to take them out. They should go pack their things mm. and leave this place. Mind you, if I see you here again, or you try to make any kind of trouble, we'll deal with you accordingly. <laughs> Excuse me. Please, it's time to leave now. Do not touch her! You. You. Take it. Go. Kelvin. 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 Okay. Go. Sister Mari. I don't have an elder sister. And I need you to be my elder sister. I need someone to guide me into womanhood. Especially now that I'm a princess. I need some some polish. You know, just I need to get the slum in me out. My mommy cannot do it by herself. Everything perfect. Thank you. So, what do you say? Will you be my sister? <laughs> 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 